Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with two storage solutions, one targeted at mobile phones where we can have a elegant storage, which is magnetic. And I will show you a few ways that we can put on our phones. And the other one targeted at storage for laptops and desktops, both of them a low cost solution for your setup. That being said, let's go and take a closer look at them. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. Let's start with the mobile external storage, which is really cool. Low cost link will be down below for both of them so that you can check them out. Also the storage that I'm using inside. Now this one right over here is targeted at probably iPhone users, but that doesn't mean that I can't use on my phone, on my tablet, or even on a laptop, as I will show with you in just a few moments. In terms of the unboxing, experience it comes with the external ssd enclosure all the accessories that we require including a protective case which i believe that it's a nice touch for those that want to have an extra layer of protection now to assemble the ssd which doesn't come included we just need to remove this screw right over here i'm using a sabrent ssd 2230 i will leave the link down below as well it's the smallest ssd from sabrent that i've used so far really really awesome and fast storage as usual with great build quality but once we put in the ssd inside we just need to screw it in it comes with thermal paste which i believe in my personal opinion of course which is not necessary as this is not metal so it will not dissipate heat i don't believe that the thermal paste will do anything to dissipate any heat from the ssd but that's just my opinion if you want to put in the thermal paste it is included so you just need to use it but basically this is it once we have it we just need to screw it back and then we can connect to our phone now have in mind that this is the google pixel 8a which has a plastic cover at the back with some magnet but it's not strong enough so what i'm using right over here is a cover which has a magnetic layer right over here so it will just bam stay really really strong right over it's so really difficult to fall and if we put in the cover i test that out just hanging like this and the magnet is strong enough that it will not let it uh, go away so really really cool but if your phone doesn't have magnetic or if you don't want it to put in a cover that has magnetic, it comes also with this magnetic ring, which we can just glue to the back of any phone that we have and then just put it in and it will stay there. I also used with the Google Pixel 8 Pro, which has a stronger magnetic and this one right over here, I didn't require a case or even a magnetic ring. Now the storage is meant to be used in iPhones, as I was saying, to record 4K ProRes, which are huge files and it has a bandwidth of 10 gigabit and I did some speed tests but I did the speed tests on the Google Pixel 8 Pro and I was getting about 400 to 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes. Now if I compare this to the internal storage I was getting higher speeds than the internal storage which is about 380 350 megabytes per second and on reads the internal storage is a lot faster so 1000 megabytes per second which is the 10 gigabit per second speed so we were reaching half but let's test out something right now i'm connected to my macbook pro via the usb type c and if i'm reading correctly we are achieving above 800 megabytes per second roughly 900 megabytes per second so reaching the 10 gigabit limit and this just means that we are not limited by any phone at least on the speed test okay so i've got the storage back and just put it on the phone but if you ask me is this enough speed to record any video or any other 
kind of file yes it is 500 megabytes per second it's really really speedy but one of the questions that might rise up is am i limited on this phone or this phone right over here my idea is to use it on the iphone 15 so the maximum speed that i was getting was about 900 megabytes per second reads and on writes and this means that you will be able to achieve higher speeds than what we got on these phones depending on the phone that we are using. So that is really cool that we can achieve those speeds. Now, regarding this solution right over here, this is a 2.5 inch storage solution. Really, really cool. And the thing that I love the most is that I just need to press this button right over here and it will release the SSD. Inside I'm using a S3 Plus. I will leave the link down below as well. And then to put it back, I just need to push it and bam, this is it. Metal built, really, really good. And of course, it's not meant to be used with the phone, although I can, and I did test that out with the Google Pixel 8 Pro. In terms of speeds, we were getting roughly 400 megabytes per second reads and on writes on the phone, which is not really what we can get out of it because it has a 6 gigabit per second bandwidth. So I did connect to my MacBook Pro and we were reaching on the reads or writes, I can't recall, but about 700 megabytes per second and we were getting a bit lower on the reads or writes and you can see that on screen. So we are about on the 6 gigabit per second, 5 gigabit per second, depending on the SSD that we are using as well. And of course, depending on the computer, but my MacBook Pro usually is quite right in terms of the limitations that we get out of external storage. Now, that being said, if you ask me, hey Robert, which is the one that you prefer? Honestly, this one right over here caught my attention, not only because it's well designed and really cool to put on a phone, but it also has a really low price point. And of course, it doesn't come with the SSD included, but then you select the SSD that you want. I'm using the Sabrent, which is really, really high quality and fast storage and durable, but you can select any other SSD that you want and we will have an elegant way to put it. And the other reason is that I've reviewed so many units such as this one right over here, although this one really looks cool and low budget but this is the first time that I'm reviewing such a small enclosure with SSD for mobile phones or tablets, although I can use on my mobile phone, but as you could see, we just run a speed test on my MacBook Pro. So if I want to change from the phone to a laptop or a desktop, we can also do that. And that being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right next over there to the Orico SSD. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.